What's up, Panda Nation? You know me, the Panda Photographer here. Please do subscribe, like, and share. And today, I'm going to talk about why I'm upgrading and adding an additional Octagon 25-inch softbox to my portrait photography. As a photographer and self-taught, I'm kind of understanding which softbox to use for certain portraits. But then again, it shouldn't really matter as long as you actually execute it really well. But I decided to try out this tripod octagon box that I sold for $50. It's S Boeing mount only because the Goldas 24x24 that I have, it's useful, it works, uh, but sometimes when folded in the back up, it just, it's clunky and it takes up a lot of space. But then again, this one also does. But I want to see how well the boat, the two that I favored the most. So which one I will use the most is basically the one I will use and favorite the most. But with that said, please do subscribe, like, and share here. If you guys want to financially support the channel, please do support it. There's a PayPal donation link, and I will leave the links to everything that you see in the video here in the description below as well. But let me show you this tripod. So. Here it is. I have this wonderful tri tripo octagon 25 inch softbox. It is W diffuse, as you can see. And right here around the W diffuse panel or sheet, it's extra room to add a grid. So it has this texture where everything that is supposed to stick in this area will stick. That includes extra diffuse sheets as well. So that's great. Another great feature about this soft box is that you guys should know that the inside of these Goldox uh, diffuse uh, soft boxes have these metal hooks that you have to hook on the first diffuser on. Well, with this one, it's all Velcro. Everything is Velcro, so which makes the whole entire experience much easier. And I'm gonna put this back on. The build construction, the build construction on this is aluminum. This is some type of you. Uh, what is that? You you. S H kind of plastic. They use this on aggressive inline rollerbladings because I used to be an uh, aggressive inline rollerblader, and this thing can last for a long, long time. It's built really well. Uh, the only issue that I have that I have to get used to is the fact that this one here, when you release the clamp and you want to pull it back to uh, give it its shape, it's kind of difficult sometimes. You really gotta pull it back because if you don't it would snap back in and you would get this little weird deformity shape in the salt the octagon salt box so make sure that you do make sure there's no light bleed here okay making sure there's no light bleed here yeah but yeah this is really really strong this was sixty dollars for this which is gonna look nice for the portraits uh, with this one here, this is the Godox. This is my favorite, but the thing that I like the most is I, I can slide this in here really easily, use it on the go. But the problem that I have, like I said before, was that when I fold it, sometimes you gotta, you gotta do it a few times to get it a shape. And it's small and compact, but you know, the bag that it came with, it ripped open because of the pressure that like it releases. Like, you see what it does? If I let go, what would happen? So with the bag, the zippers were not strong enough. It couldn't withstand the pressure or the weight or the force. So it just popped open. And I think this is practical to travel with, but this is more practical to travel with because it's small. Yes, I could put maybe a rubber band around it, a stronger rubber band or something, but other than that, yeah, that's what it does. Just to give you guys a demonstration, but as I was saying before, the Godox has these metal hooks, which sometimes could be a pain in the ass trying to get this on, but I digress. 
but this one double diffuse nice i'm going to use it and it's as falling out so boom nice but with that tell everyone I'm glad that you guys oh overexposed again. Wow, what is going on with the sun? Very inconsistent. The sun and the clouds. Sorry, everyone, for the video quality that may look like crap. But with that said, everyone, I hope you got a good context of the softbox that I use. I leave the links down in the description below. But uh, I'm also using the Sony A77 Mark II. Just to give you guys a little comparison what it feels like to use both cameras with OBS. That's right, I got both cameras hooked up to OBS. That's how I'm able to actually broadcast this way, that way. But the Canon is much, much cleaner when it comes down to video. The Sony has a little bit more noise it has to deal with. But other than that, it's good. But uh, this is be the first try trying this setup, and I'm gonna do it again. But with that said, if you guys, everyone, you guys want to support you know what to do subscribe like share leave a comment down below but you guys take care of yourselves and eat sleep photography videography and repeat and i will see you guys in the next video you guys take care stay cool it's a hot day happy shooting